Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We are zooming in and we are focusing in on the experience or the event of narcissistic attack. When a covert narcissist or a malignant narcissist will la launch off into a tirade, an attack, an indignation, negative explosion, or basically just projection of a lot of anger, hostility, negativity, and criticism towards others in their environment. Oftentimes when you, when you are unprovoked or when they are unprovoked, they will negatively assign the cause of the anger that they are feeling onto others in the environment. So it's kind of like um, the experience of, let's just say someone has had a bad day at work and they were undercut, they were criticized, they are not feeling very good about themselves, they're feeling um, very shameful, they're feeling humiliated, they got a negative review, they are feeling unhappy. And so this person who's feeling unhappy, who's feeling criticized, who's not feeling very good about themselves, they're uncomfortable, they're feeling like, you know, I am, I've messed up, I am a this, I am a that, you know, I, um, I was reviewed negatively. They're feeling low about themselves. And then that person, after having a bad day, a negative review, being, uh, you know, scolded or what have you, whatever happened. And then that person coming in and then assigning all sorts of negativity and blame to you. Why did you do this? Why did you leave the dishwasher open? Why didn't you take out the garbage? Why does it look this way? Why didn't you do this? Um, you know, why is your hair like that? Why are you wearing that? What are you saying right now? Um, you know, why, why are you trying to talk about this? You know, you need to be doing your homework. Um, so you can see how there's a direct connection between how the narcissist is having a negative self-assessment and so then launches that in, as the provoker as to some person outside of themselves. Such is the root of not being able to take accountability for perhaps the changes or emotional work that they need to do, self-correction, and really dealing with that feeling of inferiority or why they feel that way, and then re releasing it and working, you know, and letting it go. So oftentimes they will keep this facade or really need to take refuge in this mask of superiority in order to keep face, in order to keep their status, in order to keep their false ego in, you know, in check. Um, they just need to have this sort of rebuke and um, basically launching out onto others who have nothing to do with the negativity, who have nothing to do with the negative messages, blame, and assignment of all that, you know, basically cause of their anger. So oftentimes people oftentimes feel like, well, there must be something wrong with me to receive such negative treatment. Um, you know, there must be something wrong with me. Like, I must be totally off. I must have missed something. I'm, you know, getting such horrible treatment. This person is giving me all this negative messages about how bad I am, how inferior I am, and how I messed up, and how I basically feel like I have ruined this person's life or ru ruined, you know, their feelings, their relationship with me because look at all, you know, this negativity that I'm receiving. And oftentimes this has everything to do with how negative the narcissist feels about themselves and how that they're not processing it so they just basically it, you know uh launch into negative projectile you know emotional projectile vomiting basically on you negatively um and you know they will then basically blame you for mistakes mishaps or you'll just feel in this negative chronic uh, negative um environment around them and um i also you know, um, this feeling of being attacked. Um, there's another interesting um, uh, word uh, that I find very much um, appropriate for narcissistic behavior, and that is snubbing behavior. To snub means to rebuff, to ignore, or to spurn disdainfully. So it's like um, the cold shoulder, the brush off, you know, basically just not wanting to be close to, being very um, far, very aloof. And very interestingly enough, um, and as you know, I'm in, um, uh, you know, a uh, study of psychology, English, education. Um, snub also means to check the movement of a horse or a boat, especially by a rope wound around a post. 
So oftentimes this snubbing of an animal, a horse or a boat, that is, it's basically you're tying it up. So do you see how this anger and attack ties you up to them? It ties you up from your life purpose. It ties you up from your happiness. It ties you up and keeps you constrained and conflicted about your happiness, the cognitive dissonance trying to move forward in your life. Do you see how it's kind of like an ensnaring or an enmeshment? Um, because this re this snubbing is um, it's a very particular kind of behavior. And um, I, I think that this snub also, it will also, um, you know, when someone snubs you, it's just kind of like they... They turn their face at you. They turn their shoulder. Um, you know, even though it, it's a it's a behavior, it's a behavior that speaks volumes. You don't even, you know, people almost almost feel the projection immediately of the shame, the dislike, the rejection, the abandonment. So it's almost like a metaphorical slap in the face, or punch in the gut, or a, a, a dagger in the heart. You know that they try to control you through this negative emotionally manipulative behavior of snubbing. And it's also the word uh, snub means to, um, an act of showing disdain or lack of cordiality by rebuffing or ignoring someone or something. So you can see this basically, it's like an, it's an active ignoring. So this is how the covert narcissist is able to protect themselves from their feeling of inferiority, stress, negative self-acceptment, um, assessment, etc., by snubbing you off, by ignoring you. So if you ignore something, basically you're saying, you're not worth my attention, you're not worth me looking at, you're not worth me talking to, I'm just going to actively maybe treat the golden child in this way while I actively show in a very black and white way how, you know, um, how worthless you are by putting the attention over here. So it's a way for them to emotionally manipulate the situation according to their win. Do you see how it keeps them in power and in control and having you thinking in cognitive dissonance, there's something wrong with me, yet I get this hello, I get this hug, you know, whatever it is. Do you see how this creates this trauma, this torture, this, um, this cognitive dissonance? And do you see how it's a win for the narcissist? Do you see how it has nothing to do with you, but has everything to do with them and them trying to control the situation through using the attacking, um, the emotional manip manipulation through those toxic defense mechanisms to, um, you know, uh, make them look good, um, make them in the attention, keep them in the limelight, keep you focused on them rather than you feeling free and liberated to live your own life. And so this is really um, very, very uncomfortable, I would say, for a lot of people. Snub also means um, uh, a person's nose, which is short and turned up at the end. A snub nose. Um, and um, the um, root of snub comes from the um, Old Norse, uh, snubba, which means to shide, check the growth of. And then that transformed and evolved into snub to rebuke with sharp words, the Middle English. So, um, so it's to basically, you know, to, uh, check, you know, check the growth of, so, you know, you can, if, if there are any farmers, um, I don't know if you've used, if this is a word that you use with your, um, landscaping, um, but you know, uh, to chide or check the growth of, do you see how they're basically going to snub you off and try to keep you stunted, keep you stifled through these negative attacks? I hope these videos do help. And please um, share, please describe, uh, please subscribe, and please donate if you wish. It's peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos help. Take care and have a beautiful day.